Here are the leadership tips that you'll need in 2022. No long-winded intro, let's get right into the tips. Embed agile methodologies. Many companies and teams are already well on the way to becoming more agile. Not just in terms of the ways of working, using sprints and multidisciplinary teams and hybrid pods, but also harbouring a constantly agile mindset. That means being able to be receptive to and being willing to embrace constantly changing scenarios and a really fluid business landscape. Change is happening all the time. Being truly agile means having the mindset to not be phased by change, but to be able to treat it as your friend and extract the opportunities to move forward. And for your teams, it means the ability to take setbacks and bounce back even stronger. Leaders will need to consider agility in every aspect of their work and organisational structure. If your company isn't already on a journey towards an agile methodology, then you'll be losing ground because everyone else is. If you can embrace it, then you'll be in the leading pack. Agile can mean a lot of things, but making the most of the opportunities that a nimble and agile mindset can bring will be one of the key factors in success in 2022. Embrace the intergenerational mindsets. Over the last decade or so, we've seen that the workplace is changing. In particular, the makeup of teams and functions now comprises a much more diverse population, especially in terms of age or generational makeup. Teams are now not only multicultural, but they're highly varied in terms of age, and we're seeing much less age-based seniority. It's now very common to see teams and functions led by younger, less experienced, but still highly capable individuals. The younger generations are capable of understanding the value of empathetic and people-focused leadership right from the start of their careers, and those that excel in these areas are moving up the ladder in their firms pretty fast. Understanding emotional intelligence isn't just something that senior folk do. As a leader yourself, regardless of your age, it'll be even more critical to embrace all that the younger leaders have got to offer at your firm. Don't be apprehensive at giving somebody a senior position despite their lack of years in the game. These people have got a lot to offer and are bringing dynamic and game-changing ideas to the table. They're also less hamstrung by the old way of doing things and they've got a huge desire to make a difference. In 2022, we'll see more and more young leaders shaping their organisations. Make sure you are aware of who's up and coming and are open to giving them a chance to make that difference. Make technology your friend. You might be a technology leader yourself. You might be the one bringing new and innovative workplace and business technologies to your company to enable agility and drive change. If so, then that's excellent. You're already pushing those boundaries. But many leaders don't work in technology or actually aren't technology focused and that's absolutely fine. But especially in the post-COVID world, we'll see an ever-increasing reliance on technology to allow people to not only do their jobs at the most basic level, but to also be able to innovate and drive change in their organisations. Because these days, if the tech isn't working, then individuals often can't work at all and the business completely stops. So make sure you as a leader are encouraging the investment in agile, easy to use and innovative solutions that allow people to communicate, collaborate and be productive. If you can foster a culture of data literacy where even non-IT people are data savvy and they can leverage analytics and data visualisation technologies and derive insight from their data, well that's absolutely fantastic. It adds to the business, it adds to the understanding of clients. And as a leader, it's a crucial role of yours to encourage adoption. If you can break down the generational and cultural barriers to make use of technology and make data part of everyone's DNA at your company, we've all seen people that through no fault of their own struggle to embrace or adopt changes in technology and they're quickly left behind by the pace of change and that tidal wave of innovation that just washes them away. So in 2022 and beyond, tech will be a key pillar of everything we do. Be driven by purpose. Well, we're already seeing that the employees of today and tomorrow need more than a good salary in order to bring their whole selves to work. It's no longer good enough just to be a well-paying company. In 2022 and beyond, we'll see that the workforce needs to be driven by a calling, like a mission or a purpose. And that purpose won't just be the day-to-day -day tasks that a person has to do. Purpose goes well beyond workload. Purpose extends to the mission of the company, the duties of the function and the goals and desires of leadership. And only if employees are able to identify and engage with those purposes will they feel the need to commit and give their all to take their organisation forward. Of course, they'll still need to be well paid and well rewarded, but having their work advance their own purpose and the purpose of the company is and will be ever more vital. And that's where senior leaders come in. Because being clear, transparent and honest about where you and the company want to go and what you want to achieve and how you want to get there will become 
ever more crucial. Because if employees can see that vision, they bind it to their own purpose. And then they'll commit and deliver more than you could ever think possible. A desire to achieve an impact. And then when an employee has that purpose that we spoke about, both inside and outside of work, you'll see outstanding delivery. Because the employee of 2022 and beyond doesn't just want to turn up to work and get results. They want their work to have a lasting legacy. They want to make an impact. Many companies are now focusing on actual tangible impact. If you're not making an impact, then why are you there? Many roles don't seem to have any obvious impact, so it's up to leaders and employees alike to create roles that make a tangible difference and also to be more adept at actually identifying the impact that a piece of work or a person has had. And that's not always easy. In 2022, we'll see impact and purpose being key drivers in the workplace. And certainly the more talented and driven individuals will be much more motivated by a connected purpose and opportunity to leave that lasting impact than ever before. And leaders that embrace and facilitate this impactful mindset will see great results from their teams in 2022 and beyond. Drive a culture of self-learning. We hear about self-learning a lot and almost all managers that I've spoken to have classed themselves as self-learners and as the people that facilitate and drive that culture of self-learning in their teams and companies. Well they say that they do but in reality not that many actually back that up with real tangible action. How many managers are flexible enough to allow their team time off from those key projects to focus on learning a new skill or technology? How many allow their teams to attend events and seminars and forums and conferences? And how many actually fund those events? Driving a culture of self-learning takes a lot more than lip service. In 2022, managers will need to not only say they're all in with that learning culture, but they'll have to show the evidence as well. The committed and driven teams of this decade now demand learning opportunities as much as they want to be paid well. It's a vital part of any culture and one that senior leaders must embrace and develop with all their own passion and drive. Self-learning brings confidence. It brings commitment and innovation. It moves people and companies forward and it drives new opportunities that may never have come to light otherwise. So make sure you and your company really acts on their promises when it comes to establishing that culture of self-learning. It's going to be a non-negotiable part of attracting talent in 2022 and beyond. Focus on an employee experience. In 2022 and beyond, the companies that attract and keep talent will be the ones that are focused on and have created an employee experience. That's the top to bottom experience of working for that firm. And that employee experience will span everything from salary and benefits to work from anywhere flexibility, agility, learning culture, leadership opportunities, purpose, impact, so much more. Some companies will get some of those pillars bang on and dead right and some will get them wrong. The ones that achieve consistency to achieve that guaranteed employee experience will be the ones that grab the talent. The workforce of 2022 will see the overall experience of working for you and your firm as what drives them to sign up or go somewhere else. So make sure that you as a senior leader understand the pillars that make up the overall experience of working for your company and for you and for your team. And make sure each of those pillars delivers as much as possible for the benefit of the employee and the company mission. 2022 is going to be another year when leadership gets even more people focused. And showing empathy and their understanding of the wider dynamics of employees' lives is going to be vital. People want to understand leadership missions and connect with them. People want to be making sure that their hard work is really having an impact. It couldn't be further from the factories of generations ago, clocking in and clocking out and just taking your paycheck. That's simply not the case anymore. So as a leader, look to develop these pillars for 2022. Embrace the changes, help your teams do the same. 